What's up guys, I'm Sean. In today's video, we're gonna be installing this. The Bima World Carbon Fiber V3 Race Wing. So my M3 is heavily modified, but the last piece I'm missing is aero. On some of these high speed turns on track, I feel like my back end is getting light and a rear wing would help with the downforce. And this is the wing that I chose. The Bima World V3 Carbon Fiber Race Wing. I chose the Bima World wing because it's a tried and true wing and it's on many successful racing teams. So here's what's included in the kit. All the bolts, washers and nuts that you'll need. It's a complete kit. Bima World sells three different versions. The short version, medium version and tall version. I went with the tall risers because I plan to pair it with some aggressive front arrow in the near future. Here are the tools you need to do the job. Some Allen keys, 5mm here and a 13mm ratchet wrench and socket for the risers to the trunk, 4mm here and 10mm here for the risers to the wing, 10mm socket for the trunk lights, duct tape, masking tape, marker, touch up paint, drill bits, step bit would be ideal, a drill, pliers are optional, and a cutting tool is optional. So this is the front of the car, and that points to the rear of the car and the risers are on the outside of the wing brackets doesn't really matter which hole you choose but you just want to be consistent on both sides for now Once you install the bolts, washers, and nuts, you can just tighten it snug because we're going to adjust it later. The narrow part facing forward, the wider part facing back, the brackets on the outside. So I lay down tape on the trunk. The rubber pads there, we're going to do a test fit. This is a pro tip, since I'm doing this by myself, I'm using my tripod as an extra hand. This overlaps the OEM trunk spoiler, so we want to make sure that that's not sitting on it. We're going to measure, measure a few spots, measure some spots up here. So you want to measure it center of the top hole, measure it here. And this thing basically this corner is flush. So we're going to check the inside of the trunk to make sure we don't drill through anything important. Now we're going to move the trunk tail lights. Pick your safety goggles. And I'm using a small drill bit. Finding the drill bit to match this, or you can use step bits. You can use a little lube if you want. Spray this on to the, the bit. Like this. Works. There is a wire that runs through the right side of the trunk. So you're gonna be careful not to hit that wire when you're drilling on this side. So we'll have easy access to two of the bolts. The other two, we're gonna to have to drill the inside of the trunk. So I'm grabbing my screwdriver 
and I'm tapping it to make a mark on the inside of the trunk. So this is where we're going to drill and make an opening. Into a fatter bit. Make sure you don't drill through the top part of your trunk. So you're gonna have to make an opening big enough for the washer and the nut and the socket, or else this will happen to you. Oh, oh no. I'm using a cutting tool here, but if you don't have one, you can also use a bigger drill bit. Now that the holes are drilled, I'm going to lay down the pad to make sure everything lines up. Get off the tape on both sides. So here are the holes. To paint. Now we're going to put the pads back on. Test fit the wing. Make sure all the holes line up. And then install the bolts. Washer. Now I'm using some Gorilla duct tape to hold the bolts in place and the wing in place so it doesn't fall off when I open the trunk. Now I'm going to install all the washers and nuts to the bolts. Start tightening everything down. Have this tool also, made a 13. Use this too if it fits. For the other nuts, you're going to have to stick your hand through the tail light opening to get to it. That's tight, but you're not really going to see that if you have the trunk cover. So the wing's pretty light. I can open the trunk halfway and the trunk still stays open. Doesn't touch that glass. So this is how you set up your wing. You loosen this and this bolt nut and you make an adjustment on the tilt angle. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up the angle of attack for your wing from baseline to aggressive. I love how this wing looks, function and form. Stay tuned to my next video where I'm going to be adding front arrow, front splitter with front canards and then testing it on track. So the wing's installed, everything done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.